Yes. Yes. I'm setting our fish down. Bring him to me. Yes, he is. Keep going, Shark Tank! Yours is bigger. <laughs> Yours is bigger. Stay with him. Okay, great. Fantastic, Gary. Oh, yeah! Yes, yes, it's a three or four pounder for sure. Just get him right up here close to me before he jumps. Well, all right, gang, welcome back to another episode, and I am really trying to get these episodes out quicker for you. I know uh, well, a few people enjoy them. Seems like the last couple haven't got near the views that I normally get. I don't know what that is. My Facebook account got hacked, too, and that's kind of weird. So, let's talk baits real quick. Before we get into the video, the Freshwater FX series, it's on a Saturday, and then we have a tournament on Sunday um, as well. Gary Fisher's with me on Saturday, and then I have Daniel uh, on Sunday. So let's talk baits real quick, though. Football jigs. We start out in the morning, usually a football jig. We're trying to connect with those fish that maybe moved up a little shallower in the evening or at night. And in the early morning, that's what we think we're doing one more football jigging. Trying to pick something that has a flat spot on the top of it. Seems like even if it's full, only four or five foot, it's really good, at least in our Missouri lakes. And we like to we like to show them that. Either in a peanut butter and jelly or that's a peanut butter smoke. That's a jewel uh, three-quarter ounce football jig. Got a nice weed guard in it. We love the smoke color. It really, really does something when the water's clear. So in the afternoon, it seems like those tree fish set up better in the afternoon. Um, we'll go to a pointed jig. Pointed head, that's a Strike King structure jig. I, this is a half ounce. I do prefer a three quarter ounce in this jig. Um, and we're dropping that dude right into the base of the trees, which obviously isn't always the smartest thing to do, but it does get the bite. I do point out you gotta get the bite before you, gotta, before you get him out. So, <clears throat> I know. Sometimes you get the bite and you can't get them out. And that's a bummer too, but you know, statistics say you're gonna get a, a probably half of them out, at least if not more. So I encourage you to try the three quarter ounce in your favorite cedar trees. It does seem to bounce harder off the limbs and comes back out easier. I know that sounds crazy, but it, it's kind of like dropping that one ounce weight into the bush. It like bounces its way back out. It's amazing. Give it a try. Hopefully this is your kind of thing. Smash the like button, consider subscribing. Here we go. Tried to mist on the way over here from yeah. Lee Summit. Yeah. How are we doing today? Good. I got Gary's gonna fill in for Evan today. Gary Scharcher, Dave McCormick, Gary Scharcher. I think I got it exact Perfect. this time. Damn, I hope it don't fog up. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It was pretty clear when we went to the hotel this morning. I had a bunch of Did you get mist. some on the way here? Yeah, that's what this is right here. Yeah. Kind of feel it in the air. I had the wipers on for about 15 minutes. There's that. Should be one seven. Exact. Good to go. All right, lucky boat 13. Jeez. 13. 13. this and had none off the other end. It's crazy how that spot down there 
seems to be more volatile. It's either yes or no. Well, they both, we actually had almost a four pounder here, but yes, that one does seem to have big ends. Let go. I realize I need to retie. Gotta spin that base. Maybe eight up there, but there's a cedar laying on its side that doesn't have a lot of arms. It, Pretty much pull the bait through, it seems like. Did you throw a huge backlash? That's coming out. Okay. Boy, the bugs are bad. You ain't a kidding. They're like on my face this morning. Yeah, I had to put <sighs> Look at the cameras, make sure we didn't pick one up on the drive. How far out? Uh, it's like about. A little closer to it, but there, there's a, there's been activity. Just, yep. Yes, yes. I don't know if it is or not, Gary. It might, is you think it is? Here it comes. I don't know if it is or not. Kind of fat. Well, you saw what I did. I went down at least one stock on it. Yeah, I think he's a keeper. What's up? Uh, Partner? Yes? I'm setting our fish down. Yes, bring him to me. Bring him to me. Yes, he is. Keep going, Charger! Yours is bigger. <laughs> Yours is bigger. Yeah, don't step back. Don't step back. Got a We're gonna have the holes open. <laughs> Couldn't ask for that to work out better, right? Okay. Well, that's nothing. It's just a good start. <laughs> I barely felt mine bite, dude. Barely. Did it? I just picked up and about the time you said, Will they be all yes, out here? yes, they'll be all the way out here. There's a little brush right here. We caught one pretty good one in between the two buoys, but I'm in it. I'm in the stuff right here that usually gives it up. Yes, just drag on out. But there's a rise to it. It's got like a pond dam hump. This kind of is like Barracks' Ridge a little bit. Jordan went over into uh, Party Cove. Uh -huh. He's a he's good angler. They like to eat the brim. Oh. 
Something moved up there shallower. Oh! Damn it! He did. I knew he had it, too. I felt... Uh-oh. Is he back? No. Damn it. That's definitely a bite. Could just barely tell he had it. But oh. Get two real quick bites and I guess we should move on. Take it as a blessing. Yeah. We do need to, uh, we need to make that into uh, water probably. I feel like we get a bite down in Gar Hole today, as shallow, as low light as it is, because this kind of is about the de same depth, not super deep. Oh my God! Oh my God, Gary! I don't know if it's good. Hold on, hold on. I don't even know if it's a keeper, Gary. Huh. Not much of one. No, but he's keeping That was right like... Yeah, I'm not so sure that wasn't the fish that just bit up there and followed me out. You know how that goes? Oh, yeah. Let's get it out. Let's give it some. We'll measure them just to keep our eyes in check. I think 16. It's actually 16 and a half. So, some blue water in here I made, frozen blue water for him. Take the lid off. Just watch out there. Let me get the. Wow. Three's not bad. That's disgusting, man. It was. Especially with as many bites as we did. You know, uh, the, you know, we did, we caught four here and we went over to the other side and I threw that ear. Oh. We did. We had one four pounder over here on this spot, but you never know. We just got to go run the stuff in, in Sturt too. Yeah. I'm going to make a couple more casts because I didn't know if, I thought maybe I pulled that fish out. Because I definitely had a bite. And then when I picked it up, I was like, is it moving? I couldn't barely tell. And then I realized it was actually swimming very slowly at me. He had it deep. So that's good. We're, you know, we're fooling him. Let's, uh, let's go to some spots that don't have timber. First thing. I don't know if we'll be able to. Those guys might have scooted over. Yeah, man. Can't get them by shallow, can't get them by deep.
been all spotted bass over here. Good one, ain't it? Keeper? Might be a keeper. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Maybe? I catch it on the bank and drag it off and eat it. Outside of the mouth. I feel, I feel like he is. Whoops. I said I was going to fall down again. God, he's long. He makes it just barely. Just barely. So we got a spot and, and a, this guy. Orange and yellow. Is that five? Yeah. Did we tag every one of them? KY and a keep 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 drawing. He was on the bank. Uh, you know, but I don't think it has enough height. I think it's yeah. an illusion. But I come over here and I came over to that other spot behind the timber back there and I fished in the ocean. Oh, that's a good and they came up schooling right here after I caught a pretty medium sized keeper and I left. Yes, yes, it's a three or four pounder for sure. Just get him right up here close to me before he jumps. He's, he's out too far. Yeah, hell yes, sharks are. Oh, he's getting rid of a Kentucky. He's the best one so far. Go, go right. It's three and a half. Look at his belly. I got a pole out there. What was he, yellow? This little spotted bass? There he is. What a trade. What a trade. What a trade. Hell yes. Good things are gonna happen. That was way up there, it looked like. Was it? I'm gonna clear my line here. Off this direction. I'm probably too far off. Hang on. Yeah, no, that damn braid. God damn, dude. I can't tell, it feels big. Nope. Well, that might be keeper. Well, we got one that just barely makes it, so maybe this one will be it. I can see him. I got to back up. Big one just pulled in front of us. They're right there, it looks like. No, this one's shorter. Might be heavier, but he's a hair under 15. The other one just barely made it.
Come on. Come on, big, big bass. Lucha Grandes. Get you in here and you just... Yeah, I'll swing this way and you'll fire right towards that. We got us a line wiper and he's, well, he's, he's wider than he is long. He's, he's pretty wide. I'm going to go hold this here. Oh, I think he is, dude. Just keep, keep it going. Keep it going. Well, it's not a huge step, but he's fat. He's fatter, and that other one just barely makes it, and he's way over. He's over 16, so it's a pretty good trade. And so, it's easy, it's, it's orange. Thank you. That's him. Just lost him. He's a scrawny. Big fish is turning upside down over. We'll take the tag off that. He even looks a bit funny. He wasn't hooked deep at all. This is okay. I took him off anyway. I got a runaway in there. He's a teeny, teeny little. The other big one, I don't I'll put weights on him if he acts up anymore. I think he's fine. But this one that eluded us, I'm gonna have a hard time catching. Oh, you son of bitches. You got him? There he is, Gary. What a trade, dude. It's a rat, bro. Let's see. This one just barely made it. See? Well, he's. Yeah. I push pretty hard on him. Does not matter now. Good stuff. He's upside down again. I, I'm I'm gonna wait him. I do with those weights. There they are. I don't know. Maybe he came from too deep. I don't know. He's he's uh. He's hanging upside down. And Dubino upside down and he's right side up now. Sometimes if they need fizzes. This is like the slow motion way of getting rid of it. But I don't want anything bad to happen to him. The water's nice and cool. I'm gonna add a little bit. White bass, white bass. Hybrid something. Well, I mean, I pulled it up over that stick and I watched it come get it. I just wasn't sure it wasn't a big old spotted bass, that's all.
I gotta do. That was a good one. I poked him hard, dude. Even the stiffer rod, I don't get it. I'm not gonna go through here, so we'll be able to knock it off. You, uh, you know, I picked up, like you said, I picked up and he was there. So I'm not sure exactly where he picked it up. I just know, yeah, I mean, I just I hit him. I hit him good. I never saw him, so I don't know how big he was, but it felt huge. That little cedar over there. First chance with my instructor. Look at those gills. Mossy gill. Where the mossy gills live. Oh, please. where Gary we just drive and maybe turn around go back through this yeah. I'm gonna put have to put every one of these on a well it should be pretty you think we should be able to do it pretty easy you think is that other bigger one doing okay no it's upside down too So that goes. This goes. That guy stays. This guy goes. Said he had 20. Said he had 20. Get a bag. Team out of the money is going to get Patrick and Tackle gift cards. Jordan Williams has five fish. Looks like he's going to be your new leader. That's a hell of a bag right there. Stop. It's 19 something. 19.22. 1922 for Jordan Williams flying solo today. Let's definitely get a couple pictures of those. Good job, bud. Great bag, Jordan. Uh oh. With penalty 10 11. He had a bunch of dead fish. He had 13 11. One. 
got it. You heard Jordan's weight, didn't you? God dang! Huh? 19 pounds he had. Wayne Garrison. Boat number, sir. Boat six. Next up, David McCormick. He was fishing with Gary Sharks through the day. David, how many fish we got? Uh, we got five. He's got five. Is tiebreaker for a big one? Yes, yes. Big Bass is a tiebreaker. Current tiebreaker for the money is 450. I'm thinking that's it. David and Gary gonna weigh one here for Big Bass. Good fish, 378. Appreciate you guys fishing with us this year. We will be back next year. If you haven't seen, the schedule is out. Um, once we finish here this year after the championship, I'll put everything, it'll be all up on the uh, website. David and Gary, five fish. Good bag there. 1431, 1431. Good job, fellas. If you want to fish your slide next door, keep that for you. Jordan always catches them. That kid is hot, dude. Getting their money back today, $150. That is David McMurray. Oh, Good job, fellas. Weigh in. Okay, thanks. So it's next weekend's when it starts. Oh, yeah, I September 22nd. Yeah. Yes, the winter. Division. Winter like it is. Yeah. Dave McCormick. Yep. And we got Daniel Dahmer. Daniel. Spell that last name. D A H M E R. D A H M E R. Yes, sir. Oh, that leg of the old arch keeps the boats off and all that good stuff. Oh, my God. Fun stuff. Yeah. Perfect. Three o'clock weigh in. Well, we caught three here yesterday morning, real quick. Way. Caught them all on jig. Caught them all on the jig. I can't even move it. Let's get a jump. Easy, 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 easy,
Had he had you fooled? Yeah, he did have me fooled. I bet you got him pretty good. Oh, it's a monster. It's big. Oh. So, I saw it. It's beautiful, <laughs> dude. You recovered perfectly. You realized it. You pow pow'd him. It's a great pow. Perfect pow. Look how good you are.